Okay, all I need to do is hit this ball here. Oh, beautiful clear, beautiful clear. I've got the empty net now. All I need to do is tap it in. What, what are you, what, what are you doing? I guess all I have to do now is do this. Hey what's going on everyone, it's me Anton and welcome back to this week on Rocket League. It's only the second episode and it's already behind schedule. But this is of course the series where I will bring you everything that's been going on in the world of Rocket League for the past week. Now what's been going on this week? Ratchet and Clank is coming to Rocket League. Oh wow, that wasn't even this week. Last week Rocket League launched its 120Hz mode for PS5, which in the end didn't really work for anyone. Did it work for anyone? Psyonix, however, released a statement this week acknowledging the issue and that it's going to be fixed in an update coming in early September. Now for the two of you who actually managed to get a PS5 and play Rocket League on it, this is great news, but for the rest of us this is really the only news that's been going on this week. Now let's move on to esports. The Salt Mine Atlantic Draft Tournament ended last Sunday after 5th place, Team Rasmothor completed a lower bracket run to win the whole tournament beating Team Johnny Boy in the finals. They got a lot better as the playoffs went on, beating Team Smellsworth, who seemed unstoppable in league play, 4-1 in the semi-finals, and then beating Team Johnny Boy 4-1 in the finals as well. For Monkey Moon, who was one of the best players in the tournament, it was a bit of a disappointing final. The back wall because Boost ran out in the last second, and he's lost possession again. Oh, Monkey Moon is actually not happy with how he's playing. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. People had a great time on Twitter after the final. Rasmul Thor posted this picture after they won. The NA team of the tournament was announced, and everyone finally knows who Catalyst is. It was a great time. But moving on to other tournaments going on. And Catalyst keeps on winning. His team, the German Amigos, won the Odyssey League on Saturday, taking home a whopping 15,000 euros as well as some monitors. Team Fairy Pig won the European Twitch Rivals Rocket League Showdown on Tuesday. That's one that Athena can't win. Dazarin announced on Friday that there will be a North American tournament called Wave Dash starting on 8th of September. The prize pool will be $20,000, and as a nice surprise, the playoffs will this time actually feature North American teams as well. We'll end the esports segment from some news from Asia. Upcomer.com released an article explaining how the Asian Rocket League scene is very frustrated about the fact that they have yet to be featured in an RLCS season, despite the fact that they have been competing at a very high level in the game for years. RLCS Season 11 is yet to be announced and there is a chance that Asia will be included in there as well. Let's all hope so, because calling the winners of a league world champions, even though everyone isn't allowed to compete, is kind of stupid and definitely something that we have never heard before. But that's it for eSports, so let's move on to what the community has been up to. A Reddit user by the name Lazy Twin posted this video of him getting stuck in a rule 1. A little bit later his teammate notices this and decides to join in the fun. Then his opponent decides that he definitely wants to be part of this. And eventually all 6 players are engaged in this almost a tug of war kind of rule 1. Now this is very wholesome, but how did these two not manage to score against this one guy? We had a player show great team play in the intro clip of this video, but this might take the cake, honestly. This match made in heaven was featured in a tournament this week. And last but not least, Stripe figured out how Psyonix can solve the decreasing player base issue. But let's end this week's episode on a positive note again. Last week we had bronze appreciation, but this week we're going to have... I guess just appreciation. Ghost Lion Blaze made it to rank 1 in all 3 game modes. I mean all there is left to achieve for him now is just to get outside. All jokes aside, congrats to him, that's obviously not something that's easy to do. But that wraps up this week's This Week on Rocket League. Now I'm sorry, this episode will most likely be late, I've had a pretty busy week, but I have a feeling most of you are going to be fine. But as always, tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. Subscribing is always appreciated. I've been Anton, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh.